Hi there, so in this tutorial we're going to run through how to make a quick video loop in Final Cut Pro 10. So basically we're going to make the kind of loop that you would use in a web page background or that you want to loop um, in the background of video over a longer period of time. So the main point of this is to kind of make a seamless video loop so there are no jumps as you move from the end of your video back through to the beginning. So the video we're going to use for this is this shot of a wood stove. Okay, and we're going to drag this straight down to our timeline here. Okay, and then once we've got it in our timeline, we're just going to go to view and zoom to fit so that we see the whole video that we're going to be working with. Now we'll just increase the size of our timeline here and we're using the hand tool so we can move around our timeline easily. But we're going to jump back to the, the select tool and what we want to do is actually grab a chunk from the beginning of this video and put it at the end so that we can then fade that back through to the beginning, okay? Now this is a static tripod shot. These kind of phase work best um, when they're shot in this way. So we're gonna come up and grab the range selection tool. And what this allows us to do is to select a range of our video by clicking and dragging. So we're gonna click from a few seconds in back to the beginning, okay? And this is the section that we're gonna use for our fade at the end of the video. So we're gonna go to edit and cut, okay? So we've taken that off the beginning of our video and then we're gonna come to the end of our video and go to edit and paste as connected clip okay or option and v okay now we need to jump back to the selection tool and just make sure we've got snapping turned on so that when we pull this clip ahead we want it to be right at the end of our um, short sequence here okay it snaps right to the end okay so basically we've got the frame just before this frame at the beginning now at the end of our clip so that will be a seamless transition okay so what we need to fix now is this transition from the end of this video through to this part of the video that's going to loop back around to the beginning. And the way we're going to do that is just by working with the opacity. So we need to bring up the inspector to do this. So we're going to go to Window, Show Inspector, okay. We'll scroll down and come to the opacity, okay. So we want to come to the last frame of our video here and make a keyframe for our compositing, our opacity at 100%, okay. So that's the end of our video. And then if we come back to the beginning of this clip, okay, we're gonna make a new keyframe or just begin to drag the, the opacity and drop it down to zero. So basically what's gonna happen is that through this few seconds at the end, we're gonna fade in that other clip, okay? And it should fade pretty seamlessly. So we'll just hang on a sec for that to render out, okay? And then we'll go to view and playback and make sure loop playback is turned on, okay? So you can see now it's checked. So when we play here, it's gonna loop right back to the beginning. Okay, so this is the fade that's coming in and then it's coming back in nicely to the beginning of the clip. Okay, we'll just play that through one more time. Okay, so we have a pretty subtle fade in and then it loops seamlessly to the beginning of the clip. Now the one thing that we we'll just show you here is what it looked like before we actually made the fade. So if we just highlight this clip and tap V, that will turn off that clip, okay? And then we'll just play that through. So you can see now, when we get to the end of the clip here, when we jump back to the beginning, there's a really clear jump between one clip and the other, okay? So let's just turn that back on, okay? Uh, we're gonna drop the sound down for this part of the clip, okay? And then with this main part of the clip, we're just gonna to go to the audio and audio analysis. And we're just gonna remove any background noise that there might have been there when we were recording the, the fireplace. Okay, so now we've got a nice loop. It'll have a little bit of crackling in it, a little bit of fireplace atmosphere. Um, and we could go on and do some color correction and stuff like that. But this is essentially how to, to make the looping video by using the range selection tool at the beginning, cutting that, and then pasting it as a connected clip at the end and fading it in using the opacity. Now one additional thing that's worth thinking about here is where you're gonna loop this. So if you're looping this on a DVD or on the web, then you may not just wanna have one section of your loop and then loop that because wherever you play it back, there will be a tiny jump as you move from the end of this video back to the beginning. So one thing you wanna do is think about the duration you want this to loop over and then try and loop it as many times as is possible before you upload it or burn it to a DVD. Now with a lot of websites, if you're using a looping background, the file size limit may be something like 10 or 20 megabytes. So you need to consider that in terms of the file size, which really probably gives you somewhere for an HD video um, between 10 to 20 seconds, depending on the, the video, the detail on the video. Okay, so we're just gonna do one extra thing here to, to make that loop happen. So we're gonna 
make sure we've got the selection tool selected. We're going to highlight both these clips and then go to File, New and Compound Clip. So basically this is going to nest those two clips that we've got together in one compound clip. Okay, so we'll select that and we'll call this Main Loop. And now once we have that, we have that seamless loop in one compound clip here, which makes it easy to kind of copy and paste and duplicate. So I'm just going to zoom out a little here um, for the first couple of these I'm going to do. So I'm basically going to select this and then do Command and C to copy and Command and V to paste. And where the playhead is being placed is at the end of this clip. So if I do Command V a few times, then it's always going to paste it right at the end. Okay. And once I've got a few clips on my timeline there, I can select them all, copy them, and then do Command and V again, paste a number of clips all in one go. Okay. So quite quickly, I'm getting to 10 seconds. And I'm going to leave it around 10, 12 seconds for this particular loop. Okay. And if we do Shift and Z, that's going to zoom to fit the whole timeline. It's the view zoom to fit option that we have here. And if we play this through, and we'll just jump to one of the edit points here, should see that we have a pretty nice seamless loop that's going to keep going on for as long as we want to keep copying and pasting it. Okay. If you're working with a DVD format, then I'd really recommend that you have at least 10 to 20 minutes before that loop to flow. So that's going to be about the amount of time that somebody would sit in front of it for the maximum duration. But it will mean they'll never see that jump when the DVD loops from the end back to the beginning of the DVD. You can obviously loop it for longer if you need to. I hope that's been useful. If you're trying to make looping clips, there are some tips and tricks that you need for kind of more complex loops. But essentially, taking part of the beginning of the clip, moving it to the end, and then compositing those two things together is uh, one of the, the kind of main essential things that you'll need to learn. Okay, I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions about Final Cut Pro 10 or other tutorials you'd like to request, then please don't hesitate to send me a tweet at Ben Housel. I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.